Hey guys, Stephanie here. Welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, guys, you already know by the title, but I'm going to be trying the wet look. Yeah, girl. So for any of my naturals out there, I'm sure you already seen this hairstyle or whatever you want to call it floating around YouTube. So I decided hey, why not I give it a try? You know, I might end up liking this, you know? So for me personally, I kind of have some difficulties pulling off the wash and go hairstyle. I don't know if I'm just not finding the right products. That's just not working for me. I don't know, but it always turns out looking frizzy and the shrinkage is ridiculous and it just turns out to be a hot mess. So maybe this whole wet look might be able to tame my hair effectively, so... You never know, sis. Come on, try it out and see what this wet look hairstyle gives us. So if you're interested in seeing if this is going to be a hit or miss, then girl, you're going to have to keep on watching. And if this is your first time seeing my face, then welcome, welcome, welcome. And I hope that you will please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell, guys, so you can get notified each and every time I drop a new video. So I'm going to stop rambling now. Oh, we gonna move on to the video. All right, so first things first, let me put on a damn towel because as I could imagine, this thing is gonna get pretty wet. All right, y'all, so I just got out the shower and I already washed my hair, deep conditioned it and all that jazz. And you guys already know the deal. I washed my hair with my L'Oreal Essentials African Black Soap and conditioned with my Cowl and Clay and Honey Conditioner. So I'm gonna leave the link to these down below, of course. And I also applied my leave-in conditioner in the shower. So I've been using the Cantu leave-in and I really, really like this, guys. It's funny because when my hair was relaxed, I hated this product but now that I'm natural I decided to give this another shot about a month or so ago and I really really love how this makes my hair feel so yeah I just section off my hair threw this on and twist it so we are ready to go all right so I'm gonna try to work as fast as I can because I want my hair to stay dripping wet and I also have an extra water bottle here so when my hair starts getting a little dry I could spray it but um yeah we're gonna start off with the back section and for this experiment I'm gonna be actually testing out a new product which is the wetline extreme gel now this is hella popular on YouTube so I'm sure y'all have seen this around but i've never tried this before i've always been an eco style girl so i said you know why not throw this into the mix so i'm going to be using this as my gel and i heard that this gel is fairly thick so i know i'm going to need some products that's going to weigh my hair down if i want to tame this hair okay so hopefully this gel is as thick as they claim so starting off with this section I'm going to take some gel. Oh yeah, this is thick. So right now I'm just trying to press the product in. I'm using the, what you call it, uh, the prayer hands and I'm just smoothing and pressing the product in because I want to make sure that this is coated on every strand of my hair and I'm also making sure to get the roots very 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 important because we want this hair laid down and I'm going to follow up with my Demi brush as well All right, so far I'm really liking the curl definition that this gel is giving me right now. Like the curls are coming through. Granted, my hair is like clumped up together, but this is how the first section is looking like guys. And I think we're good to go. You know what, matter of fact, I think I'm gonna also add some of my Got To Be Glued gel cause I want something really, really heavy 
that's really gonna weigh this hair down. So I think this might also do it. So I'm gonna just take a little bit of that and just add it to the section. Oh yeah, my hair really feels weighed down now. All right, we good to go. All right, y'all, so that's pretty much all I'm about to do at this point. So let me show you guys how the back of the hair is looking so far. Yes, girl, so this is how the back is looking. Now, my hair so far is feeling really weighed down and it feels like it's slicked down, even though I can't really see it from the back too well. But yeah, I'm hoping that it could stay like that. I have a couple more products that I plan to apply, but so far in my sections, I'm just going to apply the wet line gel and the gossipy glue gel. So I'm just gonna finish the rest of my hair and most likely speed up this video because there's no point in me talking and rambling to you guys. It's just gonna get repetitive. So yeah, girl, just sit back and enjoy the rest of the video and I'll get back to you guys. Do you love me? Are you riding? Say you never ever leave from beside me Cause I want you, and I need you And I'm down with you always, baby Do you love me? Are you riding? Say you never ever leave from beside me Cause I want you, and I need you And I'm down with you always, go with you always, go with you y'all so i am almost complete i just want to show you guys how the hair is looking thus far so this is how it's looking y'all so i decided to do a side part and this is how the back is looking like now i'm just gonna go back and add a little bit more gel on some of the places because i feel like when it comes to this hairstyle could never have too much gel if you want it to tame your hair and to prevent frizzing and such. So I'm just adding a little bit more. And I feel like this area, if I don't pin it down, it will get big on me once it dries. So I'm just gonna take a pin and I'm just going to Put it on this side so I could keep it down. So while doing this hairstyle, 
I made sure that my hair was completely drenched the whole time. Hence the reason why I had my water bottle here to make sure that my hair did not dry out. And like I said earlier, I used a shit ton of gel here. I feel like I probably used up a quarter of this, if not more, and I just picked this gel up today. So I feel like once I tied this down and this hair is molded, I think this might actually work out, guys. So before I go ahead and put my scarf, I'm just gonna add two more products just to make sure that the hair is gonna be secure and so that we could keep it like this. So as y'all saw earlier, I was applying some mousse, but I'm just gonna go ahead and apply a little bit more. This is the Loto Body Coconut Mousse. So I'm just gonna pump some and just apply a little bit more on the hair. This will help to set the hair in place and better mold the hair once I put my scarf and stuff down. Last product, I'm just gonna use a little bit of hairspray. Just gonna spray the hair down with some got to be glued freeze blast spray. And this is going to be the last product to make sure that the hair is laid down and secure. Now that we're done, we're gonna work real fast and tie this baby down. Now I'm gonna be using two scarves. This first scarf is gonna be for my edges. And for the rest of the hair, I'm gonna tie it down with a bigger scarf. I'm just gonna do the triangle and just tie the back down. Now this is supposed to help mold the hair so that once the hair is completely dry, that the hair will be set and it won't move and that it will stay in its place. So let's hope this does the trick. Now, all we have to do at this point is just play the waiting game. So I'm gonna do my makeup, chill around the house for a little bit. I'm probably gonna let this sit in my hair for about two to three hours or so just so i can make sure that the hair is well molded and it's in place so if you guys want to see the end result of this hairstyle then keep on watching guys but so far i must say this hairstyle was pretty easy for me to do this took me all but 30 to 35 minutes for me to section off the hair and apply the products which is not that bad so with that being said if you want to see how this turns out sis then stay tuned and keep on watching i'll be right back all right y'all so i am back now it's been about three hours or so i just did a quick little makeup and i was just running some quick errands around the house so it is finally time to see the end results all right y'all here goes the moment of truth <laughs> Ooh. All right, now my hair is still really wet. I would say my hair is probably still about 40% dry. It still feels really wet. Mind you, I have a lot of product in my hair, so I know it's going to take a while for it to dry, but y'all... Yeah. Looks good. I think this is so cute. It's a cute little, you know, wet look for my short natural hairs with type four hair. Okay, so what y'all think guys? Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of this wet look. I personally really, really like this look. It looks so cute and it's also kind of sexy. You know, I like the little, you know, the slick back wet look. Like I'm low key feeling kind of sexy right now. And something like this would be perfect for the summertime. It just looks so effortless. Like I just, you know, hopped out the shower and just went about my day. Like this looks so effortless and i'm also quite impressed with this wetline extreme gel 
Like I mentioned earlier, this is my first time working with this gel and I really, really like this. It gives great curl definition. It also gave me great shine, great hold. So I'm looking forward to try different hairstyles with this, such as wash and goes, buns and stuff, but I don't know. I think this might be up there with my Eco Styler because y'all know I rock with the Eco Styler crystal one. It's also clear like this, but I don't know y'all. The way it got my hair laying down, I don't know. It might take the number one spot, but yeah, not bad. All right, y'all, so that is all for this video. I really hope that you all enjoyed this and found it to be quite helpful. And if any of you guys decide to try this natural wet look, let me know in the comment section down below how it turned out for you because surprisingly, for me, I feel like this hair look turned out really, really well. And I was very, very shocked because in the back of my mind, I was kind of worried that this would kind of turn out to be an epic fail, but it came out great. Like, this is a look. This is a look, sis. We got a look, sis. Now, I don't know how this is going to dry, but um, if it comes out funny, I'll definitely come back on the camera to show you guys, but it's kind of late right now. It's one o'clock in the morning, so it's not like I got stuff to do, you know, as far as errands for me to like go outside and come back in a couple hours. But like I said, if it dries funny and I start, you know, to frizz up, I'll definitely come back in the camera. But if not, guys, then you'll know that this hairstyle turned out well and it stayed like this, okay? So thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to comment, share it, and subscribe to my channel before you leave. Give me a big thumbs up. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.